Drum modules proliferate, but it's still fun and inspiring to patch your own drum sounds. It gives more control of the sound than an 808 clone, and it uses modules you might already have in your system. My favorite bass drum patch uses just two modules, the STO and the Optimix. You will also need a gate sequence or a clock to drive the patch. I'll derive a clock from the pulse out on this maths. To set up the patch, you'll need to set the linear FM attenuator on the STO to full counterclockwise. Next, set the shape attenuator on the STO to full counterclockwise. And set the pitch panel control on the STO to about 9 o'clock. Now let's move over to the Optimix. Set damp and control combo pots to full counterclockwise. Set the volume on your monitoring system to be low. You might want to listen to this video with headphones or nice monitor speakers in order to hear the deep low end that is possible. Patch the variable shape out from the STO to the signal in on the Optimix. Either channel is fine. We'll use the top channel. Next, we're going to malt the gate sequence or clock signal. In this case, we're using that clock from the maths pulse out and patch that clock or gate to both the linear FM in on the STO and the strike in on the top channel of the Optimix. Patch the sum out from the Optimix to your monitor system in order to listen to the patch. You should have some sound once you turn up the volume on your monitoring system. The sound will be a soft bass drum. You could change the pitch of the drum by adjusting the STO pitch panel control. This changes the size of the drum. Lower pitches are a larger drum and higher pitches are smaller drums. This parameter could be voltage controlled using either the Expo or 1 volt per octave input on the STO. You could even sequence the pitch to follow portions of a melody in the composition. You could give the drum a more aggressive attack by setting the STO linear attenuator further clockwise. This will make the drum sound louder and more dynamic. Setting the linear attenuator to be lower will soften the drum. You can make the drum sound brighter by setting the STO shape attenuator further clockwise. This will make the drum sound cut through the mix. Setting the shape attenuator lower will make the drum set back in the mix. This parameter could be voltage controlled by patching a control signal to the shape CVN and setting the associated attenuator to full clockwise. You could damp the drum by setting the Optimix damp control more clockwise. This will make the drum sound thinner, shorter, and have less body. This parameter could be voltage controlled by patching a control signal to the damp CBN and setting the associated attenuator to full clockwise. You could also add effects patched to the echo phone or the herb verb. You're programming your own drum sounds now.